a grizzly, and an even bigger Kodiak bear. That little bear's got guts. That thing's huge behind him. The very rare sand cat is a wild cat that lives in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. For its body weight, this cat has the strongest bite force of all cats, including tigers. Most cats don't even like sand. They don't like anything. <laughs> Relax guys, relax. Relax, relax. It's okay. Just relax. This is a bear species you've probably never seen. It's called the spectacled bear. <laughs> Mom's like, oh that's me. Baloo is too <laughs> I think she needs help. Too. A man gets violated by a skunk. <gasps> Honey, yeah, just. <gasps> it got you? It sprayed you? Yeah, all burns. <laughs> Ew. Oh my God. Oh, I smell that. <laughs> Holy God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Jesus. Wait, wait, burns. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is disgusting. Alright, let's get out of here. You're getting in the car? You can't drive? Turn it off. Mm-hmm. I think so. A Belgian Malinois puppy shows its fearlessness even at an early age. A raccoon trying to get food at a McDonald's drive through Hi. Don't jump up here. Thank you. Here you go. He's not next to the door, is he? Oh, yes. Hey, 
guys, today I wanted to introduce you to this beautiful girl. She is a giant Asian mantid, and today when I went to go feed her, she immediately jumped out of her enclosure and crawled onto my arm. So she wanted some attention. You can tell she's pretty old by looking at her eyes and seeing that they're all dark and hazed over, which is a common sign of aging. Today I wanted to talk about how to properly handle them. Whenever you handle a mantid, you want to make sure to go as slow as possible and never startle them. Otherwise, they could possibly grab on with those crazy sharp spikes, which is going to hurt. Or they could possibly jump and hurt themselves. So this girl loves to climb around. You can see her on my arm there. But whenever you're holding a mantid, make sure to allow them to walk around, even if it might seem like a little awkward position. It's always good to make sure to have a backup person there to grab them if need be. But when you're done, you just gently put them over their enclosure and let them walk. A border collie shows off its herding skills. Stay. A watermelon for Stanley. Stanley's favorite foods are salmon and watermelon. <laughs> I bet that would look really funny. I do have a tripod, so next time. Oh, and they would like go in the kitchen and like chase you in the kitchen. We got really good at killing. Yeah, I killed so many. Yeah. Um. Is are Tiki and Leo unlocked? He loves his watermelon. Does this hurt the watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> a man frees a skunk from a trash can. A few days ago, while visiting a school, we heard a strange sound coming from this pipe. So we called animal control, who then sent the fire department to help us out. They stayed for hours, digging and trying different things to get it out. Until finally, the little critter showed up. And it was just a baby. <laughs> And as if rescuing it wasn't already good enough, they asked us if we would take it home and care for it until we found a better place. And I knew it was cute, but what I didn't know is how sweet he was. He was also really hungry and tired, so we gave him lots of snuggles. And the best part is we found the perfect place for him to continue his little life.
Thanks for watching. I'm Curtis. See you next time. Like a fish on land.